in the bottom left hand corner give a big cheer for flash 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 Flash, and I'm not surprised that Flash and Jay don't get such cheers, but Flash especially, what a legend. Yeah. And he's a cool guy as well. You know, there's, all there's all actually so much that's already happened in this game. I mean, we haven't even introduced Tasia, and like, there's already stuff to talk about. Yeah. Funk has got it. <laughs> there is an SCV in his base. Oh, that wow. is so And cheeky. there's a barracks. <coughs> так, господа. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. У Тейджи там обхак. Вы знали об этом? Тейджа мох юман, чем флеш. Тейджа флеш машина. Ну, да. Итак, друзья, первый полуфинал. Home Story Капа. Десятого юбилейного Home Story Капа. Нижний левый угол занимает Кити Роллстер Флэш. Верхний правый угол занимает Ликвид Тейджа. Счет 0-0, best of 5. После этого полуфинала мы будем смотреть с вами противостояние Лассиры и Партинга, потом э, противостояние Флэша и Лассиры, а потом Тейджи и Партинга. Это такое скрытое, немножечко скрытого вангования от Пептара, но совсем чуть-чуть, немножко. На самом деле... В обоих матчах, вот я смотрю сейчас ставки на партинг э, Канхо, которые будут э, будет после этого. Э, я бы совсем не назвал партинга таким уж серьезным фаворитом. По-моему, Лассира тоже вполне может оказаться в финале. Но у партинга, конечно, куда больше опыта. Вон, а почему ты мне пишешь видишь, видишь? Что ты этим хочешь сказать? Улетает рипер. Перелетает старпортик на Тихлабу. Ну и Флэш строит Баншу, а Тейджа строит Рейвена. Флэш отменяет Баншу и заказывает Рейвена, и отменяет Грейт Нейли из Банши. Они оба строят Рейвенов. Кстати говоря, да, интересно, заметили, смотрите У Тейджа написано, что он из команды Ликвид и из Кореи А у Флэша написано, что он бог Кореи И играет за команду Кити Роллстер Тейжа 
He's always been that very, very strong bio player with tanks in good positions, getting a lot of Vikings too before he gets a lot of meta dice to get out control. Whereas Flash, every time I see him, he should be very solid. Yeah, yeah. There is this theory that we always remember uh, it was the CS finals. Toda катается Гелион. Нью Кирк. Просит. Я не знаю, о чем речь. Я знаю, что и была карта Нью Кирк Сити. А что значит надпись Нью Кирк Прэшент? Хрен знает. Застройка. Он ловит Тейджа дроп флеша. У флеша есть бусты, прожимает, улетает. Ну да, есть подозрение, что сейчас Тейджа из Кореи катнет бога Кореи. Чтобы и нет. Спрашивают, буду ли я сегодня что-нибудь разыгрывать. Давайте разыграем самое хорошее настроение. Тому, кого сейчас выберет рандом в чате, оно достанется. И у него будет самое хорошее настроение весь, весь сегодняшний день. Итак, это Кантет. Кантет, я тебя поздравляю, ты главный счастливчик сегодня, тебе очень повезло, браво. Просто невероятно, все эти завидуют. Ну как вам розыгрыш? Понравился? Я умею сделать шоу? Так, ну вот, медивак убили. Нету, ну, нету, а настроение у него хорошее есть. Хотите еще хорошего настроения разыграю? Занимает Тейджа третий экспанд. А, говорит, у него хорошее настроение, потому что его нет на моем стриме. Ну, логично. Что-то Тейджа со флешем. Со флешем. Я ждал от вас экшена. А вы один раз друг к другу прилетели, и на этом экшен весь закончился совсем. Флаш приехал, получил люли от танка. Уехал. Ну, танки, ну, это даже МММ, типа от Тейджа с танками. У Флэша танки гелены викинги. Тейджа нужно забрать себе преимущество в воздухе, потому что викингов у него меньше. Но на самом деле у Тейджа не МММ, медиваков у него нету в армии. Но армия более мобильна, но если бы он забрал себе воздух, если бы у него было больше викингов, Тейджа мог бы и медиваков построить, и еще и подропать. А так подропать может флеш, допустим, хилбатов на голову Тейджа. Но, по-моему, этим больше бомбер страдает таким. Но это мне нравится. 
Тейджа понимает, что и какой-то плохой выход вообще, что посадил викингов отдельно, пошел мародерами, слил их. Пора светочка. Но при этом выход, который мне показался плохим, ну, вроде нормально, все живы у Тейджа. Хотя выглядело как-то очень сумбурно. Слишком. Осаждает чуть-чуть один другого. Светочка. И флеш пошел к Тейджу. Сдав практически позицию. Ну хотя... Что там у него осталось? -то? Просветка. Флеш смотрит, как Тейджу уходит. Флеш оставил для защиты третьего танки. Части Викинги. Чтобы на танке ничего не дропнулось. Тейджа под Сенсат Тауркой ходит. И под Сенсат Тауркой его видно. Он это знает, но все равно ходит. Флэш делает дроп хелбатов на голову Тейджи. Тейджа хиден дранит. Нет, не хиден дранит, он просто убивает викинга Флэша. Вероятно, и хилбатов. Эм, нет, флеша больше. Флеш давит. Здесь Тейджа сажает викингов. ЦЦ, я думаю, флеш потеряет. Надо постараться рабочих спасти, пока танки по ЦЦ лупят. Флеш уже дошел до натурала. Тейджи. Тейджи нечем особо защищаться. У Тейджи меньше. Вот вся армия Тейджи, она практически на третьем экспанде флеша. И немножечко совсем здесь. Но чем отбиваться флешу у себя дома тоже не ясно. Хотя там по-любому что-то есть, мы просто не видим, что вот это. Что-то. Ну, я думаю, этого достаточно, чтобы продержаться. В конце концов, у Тейджа тут всего лишь 4 танка. Танки это не такая армия, которая побежит все разносить под стимпаком и хилом медиваков. Тейджи куда-то своих сцевишек повел к своей армии. Ну, Тейджи чуть больше ресурсов, чем у Флэша, но учитывая разницу в лимите, все сложно. На лом, мародеры. Мародеры сливаются успешно. On a dominating, undefeated streak in this tournament, can anyone stop him? Give a cheer for Flash! <laughs> And in the top right-hand corner, Teja, he is down. Oh, I said his name. Well, we're going to do it anyway. In the top right-hand corner, start over, Funka. Start over. Pretend it didn't happen. All right. In the top right-hand corner, he is down, but he is not out. 
He almost defeated Flash the last time they met in Toronto. Can he turn it around? Give a cheer for Liquid Deja! Such a big miss. <laughs> and immediately, so Nimbus, four-player map, so you can't always scat, or yep. you don't always scat your opponent directly. Tasia is uh, doing a build that you don't often see in TVT, and that is CC first. Yeah, it's incredibly risky. It's In the other matchups, there's not too many ways that this build gets countered. And if it does get countered by a Protoss or Zerg, it's usually because they're all laning, and they're specifically trying to counter it. In TVT, it feels like anything counters CC first, as long as they see it. Yeah. Well, to be honest, if there was a map to do it in TVT, let's oh, yeah. do it on Nimbus. Yeah, definitely this on Nimbus. This is the safest map possible to, to do the, the CC first. But what I like when I go CC first, personally, is to do it the most greedy way possible. Because, yeah, you know that anyways, if you get attacked <laughs> so kind of early, you're going to die. Yeah. If there is a Reaper, it's over. You mean <laughs> the single racks gas style after it? Yeah. Yeah, you never open up two racks after Just it. Just go for it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to do it, for it, if you're going to do it, you do it right. And, like, and uh, don't scout. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Like whenever you do uh, two racks with it, I feel that a tank push can just kill you anyway. Yeah, there's so many early aggressive options that Terran has against a CC first. Early Banshees, early tank. Well, Banshees is probably the best case scenario, but early tanks, Marine Hellion, Medivac, all so dangerous. But Flash is actually opening with a Reaper, and he is sending that Reaper to Tasia's burst base first. <gasps> oh, so he saw oh, the SV leaving the base. This is, actually, this is actually good for Tasia. Awesome for Tasia, yeah. yes. He's just losing a, a scouting NCV. I think he. He can even know kind of where Flash was. Yeah, okay. So Tasia was building a bunker at the same time. Yeah, but the, you, there's no Runs way you away. can finish it. And the really great thing for Tasia right now is Flash doesn't know it's CC first until right no. now. Oh. And he would be playing so much more aggressive if he knew that. As, as soon as the second Marine comes out, he's actually got decent play. He's, he's basically stabilized. But there was a huge timing window that Flash had where Tasia had no Marines, and then he had one Marine. Yeah. And he would have built a second Reaper, I think. If he had scouted with the SEV, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> he just works on this, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Flash is not going to lose that Weeper. Hey, sometimes these things happen. Yeah. You know? I've seen it. Like, he could have been taking his hand off his mouse and, like, adjusting his mouse pad while that was going on. Maybe he had to it. take out his ruler really quick. Hey, wait, have you seen it when he plays? He really just, like, take his hand off his mouse and just, like, kind of, like, do weird things with his hand. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's very unusual. 4GG was doing some kind of uh, the same thing, I think. I know. Uh, also, like cleaning the, the mouse pad really quickly with oh, his yeah. hands. Ah, well, this is like, psh, like MKP also. He kind of like lifts his hand up and goes like this and then like grabs his mouse again. So a lot of really good players have very weird habits that I'm pretty sure don't help. But uh, just, yeah, it must be a habit or a, Maybe a tick just, or something. Yeah. Oh, that, that Reaper is going to die. You so, flash upon seeing that it is CC it's first. Not, it's not going to die. <laughs> no, it is going to die. It is not. Eventually. Yes, yes, it will. Eventually. I'll give it maybe... Soon. He's got like 10 seconds to live, max. 10 seconds? Yeah. Okay, 628. Ready? Is this what we're really focusing <laughs> He's on right actually. Now? Are you kidding, Tasia? Just kill... <laughs> just kill the Reaper. What are you doing? <laughs> Well, he is actually microing at the same time his flash base and killing a lot of SCVs. How many oh, 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 the hell oh. Whoa. That could have dealt a lot more damage. But okay, so the Reaper did die, but he was yeah. a Tom Cruise Reaper. Yeah, well, he was alive for a long time. The Reaper did kill more SCVs than the Alien. Look at Flash's response, too, to sync CC first. It's, it's like old school TBT style, where it's like if your opponent goes CC first, you went one rack CC, oh. you threw down a third CC very yep. early afterwards. So, you know, it's like playing Leapfrog here. How did that? We don't mind that detonate. I don't know. That was really close. I think the, <laughs> yes. the Vikings hitbox is a little strange when it's because yeah. it's a flying unit. And we do see Tasia with a little bit of a worker lead. But of course, like Ben was saying, that third CC for Flash is going to give him a very strong economy. And I mean, it's already up and running. It's, oh, look at this. This movement of this Widowmine. <gasps> wow. Wow. He reacts Must so like, how well. Did, how is that possible? How, how did he see it? I mean, Tasia. He reacts so well, and Tasia is actually very, very, very well known for sniping things like observes on the map yeah, yeah. constantly. So Remember that game against Rain, I think. That was crazy. Just ninja eyes, man. On Whirlwind. Yeah, yeah on Whirlwind. 
A Widow Mine does get picked off, but there's not a lot of Hellions here. And once the Marines all unload, the Medivac doing a lot of healing. Ooh. The Viking is going to fall, and the Medivac stays oh. alive. Now he's going to be able to escape. That's actually a great little Perfect, attack. Michael. So, like, three Hellions killed and a Viking, and you lost, what, three Marines or so? Yeah. So, really good trade by Tasia there. And what's the half scout? 39 to 40. So, very, very, very close. And Tasia's third is soon turning into an orbital. <laughs> You're laughing at my soon now. <laughs> These things happen, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, we lo we're losing our voices. Oh, everything. I'll I would love to, to see this uh, Widow Mind uh, getting cleaned by, uh, by Teja because they scares me. What? They're scary, the Widow Minds. Yeah, Widow Minds are very scary. That's kind of a nightmare in this matchup. Ooh. Kills that. And if he had scanned better, he could have gotten both. Uh, OK, so Flash is actually going for Mac, as he has done. Through, every, yeah, through every time I see yeah. him play. Oh, we're going to oh. see some micro, I think. Yep. How that many Marines will he sacrifice to kill this Widow Mine? Zero. Oh, he, he won't. He will just like take one and go back. I, I, I just use the Medivac to heal him. Like, that, that would work too. <laughs> Having some fun. I mean, this is still nice. Yeah! That's huh. cost efficiency, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste money. Yeah. Money is money. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually pretty uh, attention intensive to do that. You know, it requires a lot of actions and yeah. uh, a lot of time. A lot of APMs as well. Yeah. You have to look, you have to send the Marine, fire once, stop the tank, send the Marine back, yeah. send another Marine. Yeah, you know, it's, it's almost so much that it's just like, oh, I just killed two Marines. I don't really care that much. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling though all too well. Yeah. So, mech for Flash, I really like that, but a bio game by Tasia, and I've seen Tasia play exceptionally well on this map. He's actually going for more standard style, I guess, of bio, where he's making the medevacs and such. Probably going to yeah. hope to be playing aggressive with drops and stuff. I think these positions really favor Tasia in, well, just in general, but especially in mech versus bio, because Flash's natural is basically along the path that Tasia would push, if he can establish even a slightly aggressive position on the map, he can very easily threaten a doom drop into the natural as well as pressure on the ground into the third. I feel that taking a fourth as well for Flash in these positions is very hard. Yep. Because the fourth south, which is of the one that he's more obviously likely to take, yep. it's uh, so far away and then being stretched out across the fourth, the third, natural that can all get dropped. You can even swing a drop into the main. Um, it's very, very hard to defend it all, but oh, look oh, at Micro by Tasia. Yeah. <laughs> Good from Tasia. He will never stop. And Tasia wants to actually beat Flash in a straight up macro game. Like yeah. He started the game knowing that he's going to go CC first, and he wants to beat him in a big, big macro game on the universe. That, yeah. You're going to be a man to do that. It's, it's pretty interesting. Tasia actually has a fourth command center that he's using just as an orbital. I'm not exactly sure when he built that. Me neither. Maybe it's to have a bit less SCVs, but he yeah. already has uh, 67, so his economy is just going to be sick. He will have like 10 barracks really quickly, I feel. Yeah. He's getting up to a very high barracks count right now. So, does he have the second factory on the way? So pure, pure bio Eight barracks yeah, so like, far, yeah. Yeah. yeah, bio, tanks, medevacs out. He's got a bunker in his natural as well, ready for hellbat drops, so Tasia. He's not taking this lightly at all. I really like his safe solid play. And here he's going to get yeah. a cancel on the fourth. This That's looks a lot better than his game on Overgrowth. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what that strategy was or oh, why he didn't work so it. much. He's going to move in. He killed one tank, wow. he killed two tanks. Wow, he's really going Three. in here. But he eventually has to get back a little bit. Kept his tanks in a normal mode nice. there. Yeah. That allowed him to, to fall back in case there was a little bit too much there. But very... Interesting split-second decision from Tasia to move that, move those units in. You know, he lost a lot of units, but he killed a decent amount of tanks. Oh, this army, though. It's really scary. Oh, oh, and the Vikings catching this. Uh, only one Marine to yeah. try and save the day. Flash is actually going to go for a big counter, and Tasia oh. might walk right into this army. Uh, he needs to be paying attention here. Good stim from Tasia, but the medevacs are coming in. They're going to unload the Hellbats on top of that oh. army. Two siege tanks do get caught, and a couple more Marine Marauder comes out. How is he going to kill that? I don't think that's an army. That yeah, I don't think there is a Raven full of energy. I don't think he's going to. I think. Like I mean, there is going to be another flanking army to the left, but a PDD down. Nice siege here. It's, oh. it's not enough. Yeah, 
Tasia just has so few units here. He's trying to do what he can with those siege tanks, but in the back, the siege tanks are cleaning them up. Flash is pushing into Tasia's natural. Wow. His supply is dwindling. Tasia's rallying every single unit he has here, but Flash is going to sit on top of his production if he can. Now cleaning up all the SCVs at Tasia's third. Yeah, these SUVs came off the third here, but the supply 80 to 160 of Flash. Great production off of by both players, but Flash's army, there is just no stopping this. The resource lost to have 11k to 5k. It just shows how much more. Like his army's been so quality, so cost efficient. Yep. Flash now moving in, sieging his siege tanks a little bit closer. Tasia for the final engagement here, bringing everything he has. GG. Yeah.